the weather where you are in detail, go to itv.com forward slash weather. Now, uh, still to come, he's gone stratospheric since his debut single, Spaceman Eurovision Superstar. Sam Ryder joins us next. So he's excited. He's so starstruck, Rob. He's so starstruck. I really am. We all are. I really can't wait. <laughs> uh, good morning, everybody. You're watching Good Morning Britain here live on ITV. Hello. Oh, oh, oh. oh. Is here with us, everybody. So, so Exciting good. to have him here, isn't it? But um, that that moment, that space bun, that lift, I don't know what it is musically. You yeah. two are the musical buffs. But it just know, no. fills you with joy, doesn't it? Thank you so much. I mean, it's First of all, so good to be here. And um, I might get the lounge decorated like this. And I don't know what the part of the thing. <laughs> <laughs> They're all you with your mouth open yeah, going, yeah, yeah. man, <laughs> of the space van That's bit, aren't they? Few, um, uh, lounges like this. You know, it, it wasn't just sort of your amazing story. You, you kind of reinstated the UK's kind of pride um, and its tradition of doing... Uh, well, it took a while of us doing well in Eurovision. It wasn't just uh, your second place, but how gracious you were to the Ukrainian song uh, uh, and that that group as well. And I think a lot of people from that just sort of fell in love with your musicianship, but also your kindness and generosity. And that shines through there, but also with your 12 million followers on TikTok as well. Well, I appreciate that. And it was a massive team effort. So uh, while I'm flattered, the whole of like the team that went over to Turin and were involved in this project since the beginning of the year are massive fans. We respect the institution of it and what it celebrates. And speaking of kindness, like we were just chatting before the cameras came on, like you guys and this whole team are incredibly kind because I'm coming in the door like excited and enthusiastic, but just you guys matching the energy and being kind in return. You're talking about and a Eurovision super kid <laughs> in Rob. I mean, he loves it. But, you know, it, 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 I guess some that didn't do so well in Eurovision of the Brit entries over the years might say, well, it's easy to embrace it when you've done as well as you did. And your demeanour, mm. as you say, yeah. in coming second was so wonderful. I guess the question is, next step, isn't it? Yes. And the brilliant thing is that you've got these songs that you had lined up beforehand that now yeah. have a platform. Yeah. Absolutely, yes. Yeah. So we just released the new single, Somebody, on Friday. Good. Oh, bless. Thank you so much. Yeah, this is us in Serbia. It's about 40 degrees here. I'm wearing um, a, a jumpsuit, which is a bad choice, but it was fantastic. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, is that something you wore before, it's, Sam, or did a yeah. stylist maybe suggest uh, it? No, I did not. I wasn't <laughs> sort of labouring <laughs> on a sewing machine. Now my friend than, Luke. Now more than ever, we need music like this, right? And people like you are unashamedly sort of joyous and happy uh, in the world. And yeah. you think about the ride that you've had. You know, somebody was talking about manifesting before. Mm -hmm. A few years ago, you could get people to come and be in your video. Then you performed for the Queen, and you didn't just do that. You changed the lyrics from Space Man to Space Man. Yeah. Uh, I, I think we've got a, a little version of it. <laughs> I, I'm so dying to know whose idea it was. Let, let's have a quick look if we can. <laughs> it happens right at the end. I don't know if yeah, you can catch it in this bit, but it was... Um, oh. Yeah, there's, like, some tears in my eyes a bit because you, you're really swept up in the emotion of this thing. Like, you're chatting to people like Nile Rogers and Hans Zimmer behind stage before the yeah. show, and everyone is so... They know just how prestigious it is to have even got the invite to walk over the threshold to be there. Because of her. Whose yeah. idea was oh, it? I want to know that. Yeah. Oh, OK, right. So I was on Radio 1 with Scott and Chris, and yeah. one of their callers called in and sort of put the idea forward. The three of us were like, I'm so annoyed I didn't think of that. And But it, I thought it was such a lovely gesture Touch. to just this amazing yeah. force and this woman in our life, our, our, all our lives here, that yeah. and reminds us that power can be gentle and kind. And, um, yeah, what, what oh, an incredible sorry. opportunity on that stage. You know, that that is such an amazing thing. But, you know, next year is, is Eurovision. Sadly uh, and tragically, of course, it can't be in Kiev or, or, or in Ukraine. Um, and you've been really thoughtful about that. It's going to be in one of the British cities. Uh, it doesn't look like it's going to be London. Where do you hope it's going to be? Or do you want to stay neutral on it? I'm going to... Th I've that question, I think, is best answered in a diplomatic way. Because what? 
I've, and yourself, all, and a lot of you guys, I'm sure, are fans of Eurovision here, and we've always enjoyed it. It doesn't matter where it is in the world, so why now would we put... Uh, I'd be so interested in the area code for which the stadium will be, uh, I don't know, emitting this roar of so music. So you don't mind? I don't mind. I'm, it's like when the World Cup happens, I'm absolutely stoked, I'm buzzing. It's nowhere near my doorstep, but it's here. And we're, the main responsibility is that we throw this amazing celebration for Ukraine. And what's the hope for you next? I mean, somebody is going to be another sort of mega hip. Is there an album coming out? <laughs> what is it? I mean, it was the Jubilee. I love your optimism. Tomorrow, <laughs> I'm getting it from you. Tomorrow the world? Ah, uh, who knows? Uh, first of all, um, I got, we've got to go to Brighton. <laughs> we're doing a music video there for the acoustic version of Somebody. And, yeah, so we've got a lot of ambitions and drive and goals, and we'll see what happens. But this song, ultimately, is about... Yeah. Giving love and feeling love in return. So, oh, of, of the crazy ride that you've had, what has been the most extraordinary? You've named a few, but you also met with Kate Middleton, who's a fan mm -hmm. as well. Is that one of the highlights? Uh, definitely amazing. Like, uh, very welcoming. And like I said, like, en engages with your energy. Well, I've got to talk over. It's the same. Good <laughs> morning. Britain to... is we back tomorrow at France. It's, it's head time head to join Christina. Tell, tell us. I need to know. Him. We'll do it after. <laughs> Well, Alicia Christine, Keys, was it, wait, you uh, too. was it Alicia Keys? Was, did, was it meeting Alicia Keys? Was that? Oh, it was thing? incredible. Also, lots of uh, sequins on the floor in the palace. I hope the corgis didn't eat them. I love you. <laughs> sorry, Christine. Christine, I, I'll get the hairdressing tips for you as well a bit later, <laughs> yeah, but I'll to you. <laughs>